Tony Tubbs, who rejoices in the nickname TNT, came to this encounter unbeaten in his 21 contests, including five knockouts. Tubbs had fought Page as an amateur and had always extended him, but last Monday in the Memorial Auditorium, it was over 15 rounds for the world title. The commentators Reg Guttridge, and we join it now for round two. Into the second round, and they've certainly had chance of a good look in the opening round. No action, really. Page, the defending champion, the bigger man of the two, with the blue waistband. Very difficult to really spot these fellas, particularly from the back of the hall. Must be the most sizable heavyweight. That looked like a trip to me. Timekeeper's counting, but the referee's not taking it up, so Tubbs goes down, but only with a trip. Hasn't been down in his unbeaten career. Page only down once against Quick Tillis. He got off the floor to win that one in Houston, Texas. Surely must be a battle of the biggest heavyweights for a championship. Page is 17 stone, one and a half. Tub 16, five. Really is the Beef Trust Brigade, that one. Page took the championship in South Africa from Yeri Kutsia. He weighed 16.12 with that one. Old amateur opponents, so they really know each other's style. But a little bit too much posing going on. The crowd expecting bigger things. As So maybe a critical audience with Muhammad Ali there in the audience. I'll see him on the left of the picture in the second row. The main man himself. Page comes from Louisville, Ali's hometown. And he used to box with Page when Page was only 17 years old in exhibition contests. And there was a time when we really thought Page could take Ali's place. But he's got to be in good shape and more importantly, in the right mood. He could never tell what his performances are going to be like, and it's Tubbs looking the better of the two in the second. Hey! There's TNT Tubbs. Jimmy Ellis, the old WBA champion on the outside of the ropes, looking after him there. into the third and it's been reported that they actually box three times as amateurs well page tells me they box seven times and he should know he was there and he won six of those so maybe he's just come into this fight perhaps a little bit overconfident Tubbs hasn't fought the same kind of opposition that page has had but he's a good fast fighter and he's showing it in this round Stopped 15 of 21. A little bit flashy stuff now coming with Page. This has always been his downfall. Wants to take his time a bit too much while Tubbs is up. And they're both now showing off, trying to do the old Ali knee wobbling. But only Ali could get away with that. As I say, if they fought seven times as amateurs, it's beginning to look as though the moves were choreographed for them in this fight. Tapping of the gloves there, Tubbs is better off hitting the other man, not hitting himself. Challengers have always got to go out there and grab the championship. Confident stuff though, isn't it? Whatever happens, and not a couple of novices. <laughs> Tubbs now trying to threaten Page by tapping, the rather like the animal warfare. Bits of intimidation going on here, rather than heavy punches. <laughs> Judges from New York and Miami. crowd have been geeing this fellow up a bit page because they know he has the ability that's janked morton on the outside the ropes who was working always with sugar ray leonard he virtually discovered leonard into the tenth round 
And the, again, the crowd getting just a bit impatient, expecting bigger things. Scheduled for 15 rounds, the WBA version of the championship. Tubbs just a bit busier for me, and therefore must be in front. But Page has been known to come from behind. It was great controversy when he fought Katsir in a four-minute round, but the WBA overruled the South African objection, said it wasn't his fault, and we think he was going to win anyway. Big muscle going in there, isn't it? 17, one and a half, 16, five. Well, there's no use Page doing the walk away bit. He's got to get on with it. Bit of jeering coming from the crowd as well. And they've started the Ali, Ali chants, and there's Ali helping to conduct that chanting. He's still the great character, and the crowd still love him. And there he is, telling him to get on with the charming. And now would say, no, let's keep it quiet, fellas. Well, it's 35 years since there was a heavyweight championship in Buffalo when Ezra Charles of Cincinnati fought here. And Tubbs comes from Cincinnati, but it could be another 35 with us before the next championship, if it keeps up like this, there's just not enough action for the fans. So there's Morton giving Page some advice. Let's get on with it. Into the 14th round. Despite their size and bulk, they've managed at least to keep moving fairly well. They're, they're a bit mobile for their size, but they just haven't unleashed sufficient punches. So some of the crowd's either been thrown out or going out to get a beer there. It's all the posing and not producing enough. And Page taunting uh, Tubbs a bit, chatting him, but that's not good enough. Better boxing from Tubbs, good jabber, almost come from nowhere in the ratings really, although we've shown him already a couple of times on World of Sport, Tubbs has won to watch, and it looks like we could be right. Defeated bone crusher Smith, and of course we defeated Frank Bruno in London, and that was a qualifying uh, win for TNT Tubbs. So apart from the slip in the second by Tubbs, there's been no sign of any knockdowns. They both absorb punches very well. Right through the amateur ranks when they fought for the USA on the same team sometimes. They were known for their durability, these fellas. amount of amateur experience these over a hundred bouts each the only big name that Tubbs has beaten in the past was Jimmy Young and uh, he was a little bit past his best at the time Tubbs with just a round to go. Paul will touch the gloves in the 15. They should be having a go now in case the judges are fence sitting. I very much doubt it because Tubbs has definitely thrown more punches. the apt town for these fellas to be fighting just beneath the Niagara Falls because they've really gone in there like a couple of warm buffaloes there splashing away with punches half the time. 
American standards, it's been a disappointing championship. But there doesn't look too much in Europe still that could beat these two. First time for Tubbs on the 15-round course, and he stayed it well. Page trying to do the occasional left-hand leap of the alley touch, but doesn't quite work for him. Doesn't have the hand speed that Ali had. Doesn't look as though Page is going to hang on to the championship very long. Tremendous win against Hosea. And now he's been beaten to the punch too often by Tubbs. Tubbs, five years a pro, so it's taken him a while to get here. But only 21 unbeaten fights as we get the countdown then for the end of this heavyweight championship. And credit to these fellas, at least, for trying to have a go in the last. So a little bit of action replay there as the crowd jeer a little bit. And again, it's Tubbs throwing better punches, I think. Ladies so here's the decision. And gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. And a scoring by points as follows. Judge Joe Santarpia scores it 145-140. Judge Al Walensky scores it 147-140. Well, it's clear, but he doesn't say and which Judge one. Judge Albert Tremonti scores it 145-142 for the winner. And a new world. Yes, Box it's TNT Tubbs then from Cincinnati who well, actually can claim to be the sixth heavyweight to have a championship in the last year in some form or other with the various ruling bodies. It really has been a turnaround in heavyweight champions this past year. Tony Tubbs and there's the promoter Don King.